Well, we met obviously in the airlines. Ron Holm was a pilot, Donna Dixon a flight attendant. I said, you want to learn to play tennis? Because I was a good tennis player. But the relationship was slow to get off the ground. He asked me out two years before we started dating. And the second time I asked her out, if you want to play, play racquetball? Because I was a good racquetball player. I don't do she sports. Said no. Finally. Then he asked me out actually for drinks. A yes. I can handle that. <laughs> Drinks turned into dating, and that turned into living together and talking marriage. Then came January 9th, 1984. Things were just normal. Ron was on an overnight flight. Donna ran errands, returning home after dark and pulling into the garage. I know I'm safe. I'm home. I reach and grab the mail, swing the door open, and that's where my memory goes. It's now erased. Erased by a man with a hammer. He beat her unconscious, sexually assaulted her, and left her for dead. One of four hammer attacks that month in the metro area. When I come to, I'm thinking, I must have really tied one on. And I'm outside of the house trying to get in and falling down, standing up, falling down. Somehow, she made it inside. Ron got home the next day. There's blood on the stoop, so I ran inside, ran over the, into the bedroom, and I saw her laying in bed with all this blood. In the hospital, I say I had the mentality of a two-year-old. Everything was new to me. Once again, I didn't know a knife and fork. I couldn't even tell you that I can't open my mouth and how hard it is to eat. They married in the midst of rehabilitation and recovery, a wig over her scarred, bald head, her brain slowly healing. As I would see a daddy long leg, and it's a long leg daddy. It's, why would you want to get blood from a turnip? So how would you know that phrase, right? A year and nine days after nearly dying, Donna returned to work. It was a lot longer before seeing strangers no longer scared her. You always felt like, is it him? Does he recognize me? Is he going to come after me again? Even as the attack went unsolved, they built a busy, happy life. My efforts were not to hate him specifically, although he's an evil person, my efforts went towards helping Donna recover and being there for her. In 2018, they learned that investigators believed her attacker was Alex Christopher Ewing. No charges will ever be filed in her case, but last week Ewing was convicted of murdering Bruce and Deborah Bennett and their daughter, Melissa. Donna and Ron were there for closing arguments. I think I'm past the anger. He's, he's getting justice being done here. He did that to my body, but not my soul. Kevin Vaughn, 9 News.